to perform the power swing, we're just gonna build off of everything that we've learned already, okay? So we get in our starting position right here, okay? Hinge back, right, everything is good. Now, what we're gonna do, so I'm gonna explain it first. Right after we hike the kettlebell, you're gonna stand up ramrod straight. You're gonna stand up hard, like a fucking tree, okay? And you're gonna let the force from your hips shoot that kettlebell forward and up. All right, then it's gonna come back down. Now, really important here, uh, one of the biggest mistakes that we see people make that gets people injured is they try to use their arms and their shoulders to lift the kettlebell up as high as they can. You wanna think of your arms as just ropes that have no slack in them that are just along for the ride, right? So other than my shoulders being packed down and back, my arms aren't doing anything. My shoulders aren't doing anything. Everything comes, again, from the lats and from the hips, okay? so. Stand up ramrod straight. Don't use your arms. The last point, and the, probably the even bigger, the biggest mistake that people make is this, okay? They start to hinge too early. So what we're gonna do after we stand up is we're gonna let the kettlebell fall down. And we're gonna let it fall some more, right? We're gonna play chicken with the kettlebell. And what I mean by that is we're not gonna hinge our hips. We're not gonna move until the very, very, very last second, right before the kettlebell hits us you know, where you don't want to be hit. All right, then we're gonna hinge the hips back, okay? Right after that, we're gonna let the kettlebell fall forward and gently onto the ground just like we practiced. So here's what it looks like. One more time. All right, notice how I stood up ramrod straight, I wasn't using my arms or my shoulders to try to lift the kettlebell up, and I waited till the very, very last second to hinge my hips. That's the power swing. 